At the outermost edge of our solar system is the planet Neptune. This gigantic celestial body, which has about 58 times the volume of our Earth, was first discovered in 1846. At that time, the astronomer Johann Gottfried Gall succeeded in immortalizing Neptune, which is about 4.5 billion kilometers away from us on the star charts. The diameter of the planet is about 50,000 kilometers. This value corresponds to about four times the diameter of the Earth, and thus makes Neptune the fourth largest planet in our solar system. In the world of astronomy, Neptune is assigned to the so-called ice giants. This term is used to describe celestial bodies whose mass is composed mainly of volatile chemical compounds. According to this distinction, Neptune consists mainly of hydrogen, helium, and methane, and therefore differs greatly in its composition from our blue home planet. The name of this giant planet, however, is borrowed from Roman mythology. In the imagination of the ancient Romans, Neptune was the water god who ruled all the oceans of the world and the other bodies of water on Earth. Another characteristic of Neptune is that it is the only celestial body in our solar system that cannot be seen with the naked eye from Earth. This is only possible with the help of special astronomical telescopes. The chances of seeing Neptune itself are best on clear evenings in autumn. Mysterious events on Neptune have long captivated the attention of scientists. In 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft reached Neptune for the first time and brought experts important new insights into this gigantic celestial object. By then, Voyager 2 had already been on its historic mission through the endless expanses of our galaxy for over a decade. The spacecraft succeeded in taking images of Neptune for the first time while simultaneously detecting six previously unknown moons in the direct vicinity of the planet. One of the most fascinating discoveries was the strong winds and storms that whip across Neptune's surface. These winds, which can reach speeds of over 2,400 kilometers per hour, are the strongest ever measured in the solar system. None of the leading astronomers could initially explain how such strong winds and storms are possible on Neptune. But the storms weren't the only phenomena puzzling scientists. The data collected by Voyager 2 revealed that the surface temperature of Neptune, averaging between minus 218 degrees Celsius and minus 201 degrees Celsius, is similar to Uranus, even though Neptune is much farther from the Sun. Neptune's Surface Temperature Before diving into the explanations provided by scientists, let us briefly revisit the nature of Neptune. Due to the fact that the planet's mass is composed primarily of volatile chemical compounds, the methods for measuring its temperature differ significantly from those used for solid celestial bodies. The challenge for scientists is that their current technical abilities only allow them to measure the temperatures of the outermost gas layers of Neptune. According to experts, Neptune emits nearly twice as much heat as it receives from the Sun. This makes it unique among the outer planets, though similar phenomena have been observed on Jupiter and Saturn. What remains unusual, however, is that Uranus, a planet in the same category as an ice giant, emits far less heat than its counterpart. Simply put, Neptune appears to generate internal heat, warming itself from within despite receiving less solar radiation. In contrast, Uranus lacks a similar internal heat source. The inner heat source of Neptune is believed to be a remnant of the solar system's formation. This residual heat was produced during the birth of the planetary system, and remains trapped within Neptune to this day. Gravitational contraction, a phenomenon in which the internal energy of a planet is converted into heat as its surface contracts, also contributes to this process. Over time, the heat generated deep within Neptune escapes to its surface, maintaining the planet's energy output. While experts have managed to explain how Neptune retains its heat, they remain baffled as to why Uranus doesn't exhibit the same behavior. The leading theory is that an unknown event, such as a massive collision with another celestial body, disrupted Uranus's internal heating system in the distant past. Alternatively, scientists have suggested that planetary heat emission may occur in waves rather than steadily over time. If this is true, Uranus could currently be in a dormant phase, with its next heat wave potentially occurring thousands of years from now. The storms on Neptune are another enduring mystery. As previously mentioned, 
These colossal storms sweep across the planet's surface at speeds exceeding 2,400 kilometers per hour. According to scientists, these winds are likely influenced by Neptune's internal heat source and temperature conditions. Neptune's lack of solid surface features, such as mountains or valleys, allows the winds to accelerate unimpeded. Additionally, the internal heat emitted by the planet may play a role in fueling these rapid atmospheric currents. Another contributing factor could be Neptune's natural rotation. Some astronomers theorize that the planet's internal heat, combined with its rotation, generates the powerful winds. This might explain why Uranus, which rotates at a similar speed, has significantly weaker storms, likely due to the absence of an internal heat source. However, the exact mechanics of these storms remain speculative, as gathering data on Neptune is a slow and challenging process. Neptune takes 165 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun, meaning observations and discoveries unfold over centuries. The Exploration of Neptune Despite the vast distance between Earth and Neptune, the planet has been a subject of immense interest for astronomers. As one of the most distant and mysterious planets in our solar system, Neptune is an ongoing focus for scientific research and exploration. NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft was the first to visit Neptune in 1989, providing invaluable data and images that have significantly increased our understanding of this icy giant. Voyager 2's close flyby revealed new moons, detailed images of Neptune's atmosphere, and even discovered the presence of a faint ring system around the planet. However, since that historic mission, no spacecraft has visited Neptune, leaving many questions unanswered. The distant location of Neptune means that any future missions to explore the planet will be a long-term endeavor. Space agencies like NASA and ESA, European Space Agency, are planning missions that may take decades to develop and reach Neptune. These missions could provide more data on the planet's atmosphere, its moons, and even its potential for harboring unknown phenomena. Neptune's Moons Neptune has 14 known moons, each unique and intriguing in its own right. The largest of these moons, Triton, is particularly fascinating due to its unusual orbit. Unlike most moons in the solar system, Triton orbits Neptune in the opposite direction, which suggests that it was captured by Neptune's gravity rather than forming alongside the planet. Triton's surface is covered in frozen nitrogen, and it has active geysers that eject water vapor into space, hinting at possible subsurface oceans. This makes Triton one of the most interesting moons for scientists studying the potential for life beyond Earth. Other moons of Neptune, such as Proteus, Larissa, and Nereid, are less well-known but still contribute to our understanding of the planet and its environment. The irregular orbits and unique characteristics of these moons offer scientists valuable clues about the history of Neptune's gravitational interactions and its complex system. The future of Neptune exploration lies in better understanding its atmosphere, storms, and mysterious internal heating system. With advancements in space telescopes and the development of more powerful spacecraft, astronomers hope to gain deeper insights into the planet's composition, weather patterns, and long-term evolution. Additionally, there's increasing interest in the study of exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars that share similar characteristics with Neptune. By studying these distant worlds, scientists can learn more about Neptune-like planets and how they might evolve in different environments across the universe. As technology continues to improve, new missions to Neptune and its moons could open the door to further discoveries, providing us with a deeper understanding of the outer solar system. Whether it's learning more about Neptune's internal heat, uncovering the mysteries of its storms, or studying its icy moons, the journey to understand this distant world is just beginning. Final Thoughts Neptune, with its extreme winds, mysterious heat source, and unique moons, remains one of the most fascinating planets in our solar system. It challenges our understanding of planetary science and continues to captivate both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers alike. The ongoing exploration of Neptune and other outer planets is a testament to humanity's desire to uncover the mysteries of the universe. As we continue to venture into the unknown, 
We are reminded of how much there is still to learn about our solar system and the vast cosmos beyond. Thank you for joining us on this journey to Neptune. We hope you found it as intriguing as we did. If you're fascinated by astronomy and space exploration, make sure to check out more of our videos on digital discoveries. Don't forget to leave us your thoughts in the comments section below. What planet in our solar system fascinates you the most? We'll see you soon.